Hi Libra, welcome to Buddy Tarot. This is going to be your reading for the first week of November 2023. So let's jump right in and see what energies we have for you. We start with the person on your mind and their actions and feelings towards you and then we switch to your actions and feelings towards this person. Who is the person on Libra's mind? Okay, it's, it's somebody you could be at a distance from, you could be waiting for this person. Who is on Libra's mind? Six of Cups, somebody from the past. So today we're talking about somebody from the past. This could even be a family member, a friend, or someone you love, but this is a very enduring energy. And you could be missing this person, Libra. It could be a family member, could be a child, or even a sibling. What is this person's action? What action is this person taking? towards Libra. What action is this person taking towards Libra? The King of Swords. Okay, this person is making up their mind about you. What else? The Ten of Cups. Okay, so clearly you make this person very happy. Uh, I feel like this is somebody in the family with the Ten of Cups or somebody you share a family-like dynamic with, with the Ten of Cups and the Six of Cups. There's a lot of emotions here. What is this person's action towards Libra? What is this person's action towards Libra? The Five of Wands. Okay. So... Why the Five of Wands? Why the Five of Wands? And this person's action towards Libra. We have the Chariot and the Six of Swords. So, you know, this person is... Now, you make this person really happy, but they're conflicted about whether they want to move towards you or maybe there is a decision about moving away away from you i'm not sure but there's something about movement because the six of swords and the chariot is both related to movement so maybe this person wants to reach out towards you because the six of cups is a card of missing so this this is somebody who you are missing and this person could be missing you too you know with the six of swords and the chariot this person wants to come towards you but there is a conflict about how, how, how am I going to do it or, you know, should I or should I not? But with the King of Swords, this person is making, is, is their mind is made up that, that, you know, they want this with you. But there's conflict around, you know, there could be other energies that are interfering. With the five of wands there could be competition but you, there could be competition around you or this person but definitely this person is missing you and they want to move towards you uh, what is this person feeling towards libra what is this person feeling towards libra the moon the eight of swords and the nine of swords all right, so this not knowing what's going to come about between the two of you is stressing this person out with the eight and the nine. This person could be having kind of sleepless nights or nightmares. And, you know, with the eight of swords in this person's feelings towards you, it's like they're trapped. They feel like they can't get you out of their head. <laughs> this person can't get you out of their head and they're stressed. This is how they're feeling. 
and they're in their feelings like with the moon they don't know what's what's going on this is a very difficult combination it's not funny actually it's quite serious i mean it doesn't have to be serious we don't have to be that serious about life but with the moon here and the eight of swords and the nine of swords this person isn't feeling too good okay let's get to you let's switch to you what is libra what what action is libra taking towards this person what action is libra taking towards this person page of swords okay so the king of pentacles is a great energy to show up in the action so you want to be there for this person in the right way you want to bring stability into the dynamic that the two of you share and you're all in and committed actually you you want to be committed you know but with the page of swords You're, you could be just spying on this person, Libra. What is Libra feeling towards this person? The Knight of Wands. So you definitely want to move towards this person. You're very attracted to this person with the Knight of Wands. But you're confused about why you're attracted to this person maybe. Because this is in your feelings. You're confused about the, you're confused about, you also, another message that I'm getting is you could feel like this person is an option or maybe this person has become, become an option for you or, you know, time has passed between the two of you and you're not sure whether you want to move towards this person or not with the seven of cups, clarifying the knight of wands. Uh, what's 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 blocking this connection? What's blocking this connection? We have the page of pentacles. Okay, one more. What's blocking this connection? Too many cards. What's blocking this connection? The Hermit. There's definitely distance between the two of you. But with the Page of Pentacles coming up as what's blocking this connection, I feel like maybe there is a need to put in effort and in the right way. Like, because you are showing up as the King of Pentacles, alright? You're showing up as the King of Pentacles. But I feel like, so the King of Pentacles is somebody who's available and wants to be there 100% because the King of Pentacles is like a family person. But what, when I ask for what's blocking this connection, it's showing up as the page. So maybe you and this person, you know, this person is not showing up the way you want them to. They're not putting in that kind of serious effort. And also with the hermit, I feel like, you know, there could be distance between the two of you or either, either of you have withdrawn your energy. Let's get one more card on what's blocking this connection. Seven of Pentacles, so, you know, waiting. Somebody's waiting for the fruits of their labor or expectations. There's something about expectations here but as soon as I started clarifying like for like I started asking about what's blocking there's a lot of pentacles here so you know there's feelings we started off the reading with the six of cups the ten of cups for this person's energy and action towards you the feelings are deep but like when we are asking about what's challenging 
then we are getting the pentacle so you know materializing this connection between the two of you could be like a challenge as in what i mean by materializing is in as in like something that is visible can be felt touched ta tangible setting up a life together you know not just feeling it not just thinking it but actually you know doing it and see doing it would be the ones and then like seeing things manifest you know seeing progress i feel like there's not been progress in this uh connection in the way you'd like it to be what is the immediate future for for libra and this person what is the immediate future so we have the seven of pentacles again that's some waiting but you know there will be the fruits of your labor because the seven of pentacles is a good card and over here you know there's a change between the two seven of pentacles over here this this dude looks tired and exhausted but over here this this person looks really optimistic and hopeful so i feel like you know the vibe is going to be same but there is more optimism by the end of this uh week when it comes to this connection sometimes i do feel like this is a bit of well it's not this 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 gardener looks really satisfied so i feel like whatever it is that you're waiting for libra is going to happen like the kind of effort that you're looking for is going to come about let's get some advice we have the lovers underneath the deck so probably somebody's going to make a choice you know about and choice it's not just between two people or two situations is about what we truly love that's what the lovers is about uh what's the advice for libra what is the advice for libra in relation to this these energies on the table what is the advice for libra in relation to the energies on the table So we have the moon, the nine of wands, and the four of cups. So I feel like you know these are contradictory energies where this person is this this cloud is not looking. You know they have their backs turned, and whereas this energy is on the lookout. So I feel like there's something that you need to look out for or just keep your eyes peeled, you know. And watch your back. I feel the need to say that. I don't know why. And with the moon, you know, it's not saying much. There's not much advice here with the moon. Uh it's kind of hidden. I'm not getting much from this. All I can say is that with the 9 of wands and the 4 of cups like you need to look out while you know emotionally you could be uh you could be turning your back against this but i feel like you know you need to keep going ahead because the 9 of wands is the is the wounded warrior all of this person here is not wounded they look like more like a god but other than being on guard i feel like you need to keep going ahead and of course you know there is a direction over here that's being pointed out uh and on this table up in the spread that arrow this arrow is pointing towards the moon so if i were to take the moon into the advice then the only thing i can say is that you know look out for look out for hidden energies you need to look out for hidden energies because you're not completely looking libra there's some things that you need to look out for 
okay libra so if you're still watching thank you for your patience i hope this helped thank you for watching sharing liking and subscribing and i will catch you again soon later bye